Stock Pulse News Debrief in the mining sector. Brixton Metals, that's BBB on the Venture Exchange, as they discovered Diamond Baron Kimberlite, its Langus project in Ontario. Got with me now the president and CEO, Gary Thompson. I'm going to have him run through this. Uh, Gary, appreciate you taking some time with me here. Uh, a lot of news lately, but uh, specifically here, let's talk about this uh, today's news on the on the Diamond Baron Kimberlite at Langus. Well, I, I think the highlights, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's always uh, it's always better to be uh, lucky than than smart in in this business. And as you can see by by the news, you know, we were targeting uh, cobalt, nickel, silver, and the uh, Archean rocks that uh, are fairly shallow uh, at, in this part of the property. We hit some broad scale uh, uh, cobalt, nickel, and um, more in the east part of the property and it looks like the geology is shallower at least from from the Archean rock so that was our target originally and um, I guess luckily uh, our our project geologist that's running the campaign out there had spent a lot of time uh, working in uh, in diamonds and, and kimberlite um, you know a decade ago in, in that area so there there are known a number of known kimberlite pipes uh, in in the camp uh, generally but uh, it was sort of uh, to us it was it was a surprise that we uh, encountered um, the kimberlite, and then of course you know having kimberlite is is good, but uh, I guess the key is uh, having uh, having recovered a, a diamond uh, out of this material is is even better. So you know the diamond business is a it's a tough uh, tough sector. It's a, it's a lot of work to uh, prove up an economic diamond deposit. And there's a lot of work that goes into finding uh, the right uh, right kimberlite. And the fact that we actually pulled a stone out of here is, is I think, pretty remarkable, given the uh, small amount of material that was uh, that was used to to go into the analysis. So we're we're pretty encouraged by this. And um, I mean, I don't think it changes uh, Brixton's focus. I think we're we're still generally uh, a precious metal focused company. But I think, you know, it. It provides some optionality uh, for us on the project, and I think we would be looking to uh, to bring in a, a diamond exploration development uh, miner uh, to come in and, and help uh, evaluate and, and advance this uh, maybe this part of the property. And and you know who knows? I guess either way, I think it's a it's a positive for shareholders, and you know we'll see we'll see what comes of it. But it's you know it's still pretty early days. There, there's some work to be done to figure out the extent of it, but. Um, you know, the, it could be quite large, and um, we just don't know. It's just too too early to say, but uh, we, we think it's it's pretty significant uh, discovery from our perspective. So I guess uh, stay tuned for next steps, huh? Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll get some more get some more work on it and uh, see what uh, see what we really have here. Seems like a lot of activity there for you this summer, Gary. Uh, a lot of news releases. Why don't you kind of walk us through what you've been working on? Yeah, we've been, you know, we've been busy, uh, very busy, actually. We, we've had activity on all of our projects. Um, most recently, we um, concluded a uh, acquisition of a, a large uh, block of land in the uh, Atlan Gold Camp, um, which is now one of our largest uh, uh, land plays in, in northern BC. So that's an interesting one, and we're looking at uh, doing some follow-up work there this year. And perhaps uh, even some drilling uh, up there on on a very high grade uh, high grade gold target. Uh, similar to the target is similar to like a Barkerville Gold story. You know, it was an ex uh, well, it still is an ongoing plaster gold camp. They're pulling pulling gold out of there, and they have been for more than a hundred years. Um, but nobody's really spent enough time and money to figure out where all this gold is coming from. And um, you know, Homestake found a resource there uh, back in the 80s, about 150,000 ounces at about 10 grams per ton. So, you know, we're looking at that uh, as our up-and-coming uh, uh, gold project. Um, we did some work on our Thorn property, a non, non-drilling work, a more um, geological and, and geochemical, and sort of did some relogging and with a view at looking at looking at the whole district as a, a large-scale porphyry target. And so that is ongoing work. Uh, we did a collaborative effort with uh, MDRU, which is the Mineral Research Development Unit at, at UBC, uh, with some um, porphyry experts uh, that came up and, and helped, uh, basically helping us assess the uh, the porphyry potential of, of the Thorn Project, which I always felt, still believe that it's a company maker project, but 
Um, we've yet to hit the big uh, the big Kahuna hole, if you will, there to to, to prove that. And I think it's it's evolving to uh, I think to an exciting uh, exciting space. Um, we just got back from Montana. We did some more work down there this year. And we put out some news on on that site. Uh, it's basically drill ready now. Um, we've done the geophysics and um, gone through all all the old data and um, built rebuilt a core logging facility, which which was torn down by the previous operators. So we're we're pretty much uh, ready to go uh, drilling on on that site in Montana. And then of course uh, the drilling was up until recently I've been drilling out, out east and, and uh, Ontario on the cobalt silver. So we'll have some additional uh, drill results uh, coming to market over the next weeks and months on, on those results. And uh, obviously with this new diamond discovery out there, um, we'll be looking to get some more work done on, on the Kimberlite side of it and see, see what the potential might be there. Okay, that was Gary Thompson, President and CEO of Brixton Metals. That's BBB on the Venture Exchange. Stay tuned for further updates from Brixton.